great, good. So here you have the, uh, the front of Vanier College. Um, we'll be talking about our international attestation programs. Vanier has been offering international attestation programs uh, um, since 2019. Uh, we're located in the beautiful city of Montreal. Uh, right now in Montreal, we are just starting our springtime after our, after our winter. Um, and, uh, and, and within a, a month or two, the campus will start to look like this. We have very green grounds, old 19th century buildings, beautiful uh, main campus, lots of student services and activities. I'm going to go into a little bit of all of that. Uh, and we also have a second campus in the park extension area of Montreal. Both of our campuses are located about 20 minutes from the downtown area. Okay, just a little on Montreal here. Uh, Montreal uh, is a great city to come to, or has been voted one of the uh, top student cities in North America, if not the world. Um, we like Montreal very much. It's a place that has very distinct seasons. We do have a big winter, so you do need to, need to be prepared for some ice and snow and cold temperatures, but we will help you um, prepare for those kind of temperatures. We have a beautiful spring, summer, and autumn, we have a lot of activities for students, lots of free festivals all year long, good shopping, restaurants, a great cafe culture, pub culture, vibrant nightlife, also very easy access to other major Canadian cities and the US. Here you see uh, the big wheel in the old port area of Montreal. Something that's very interesting about Montreal is the sort of distinction between the North American kind of uh, skyscraper scenery and the European architecture, because of course Montreal was one of the per first cities that, uh, that Europeans came to in the new world. And so you've got that integration of two different cultures and with those cultures brings two different languages. And in fact, many other languages, but English and French are the main languages spoken in Montreal. But keep in mind that, that the province of Quebec is the French speaking province of Canada, but in the city of Montreal, you will find it extremely bilingual and you will not have a problem getting around in English at all. Most of our students, they, they certainly all find part-time jobs and uh, we support students with learning some French as well. So here you can see that Montreal is a very artistic, cultural, active city. Uh, lots of things to do in Montreal. It's a, it's a very interesting city to be. All right, more on this. So simply a very cosmopolitan city with a, a large immigrant culture. Even at Vanier, we have a representation from about 99 different countries. Most of the students here are first generation Canadians. That means their families have immigrated here. Um, and they're now permanent residents or citizens. Um, so we're a very diverse campus, uh, but certainly there's a big Indian population as well in Montreal. Um, one of the major benefits of Montreal compared to some other Canadian cities is that Montreal tends to be slightly cheaper with regards to accommodation. So when you're sharing an apartment, you can still find an apartment, you know, you're looking at a shared apartment, you know, often our students, they share together, we're looking at two, three, four people together. And, uh, you know, just this week, for example, Jackie was sending information to students on, uh, on uh, apartment prices. So in a shared place, you're looking at perhaps four or $500 uh, for you uh, as a monthly rent in a shared apartment. So compared to Toronto, for example, that's significantly cheaper and that makes a big difference uh, to your pocket. It's a very safe and friendly city. We also have a great public transportation system, very accessible city. Our students often comment on the Montreal uh, metro system because they find it really interesting. All right, okay. Uh, this is just a little bit of information about studying in college in Quebec uh, and understanding what that we have to offer are. In the province of Quebec, all students go to college. They either do a pre-university program or a technical program, or they come back after other studies or other life experiences and do a professional certificate program. So I'm looking at that blue triangle at the top. It's the attestation of collegial studies, ACS or AEC in French. So these are professional career-oriented programs. 
that allow students to get directly into the workforce and easily transition into the job market. And that is our main aim at Vanier. Uh, we are not only giving students the academic certification uh, and recognition to be able to get where they want to professionally, we're also preparing students for the job market. So you will see we are offering, for example, an extra uh, dynamic job seeking methods class, which informs students on how to improve a CV, letter write, cover letter writing, interview skills, networking strategies, all of those things so that you're really well placed by the time it comes to graduation to find a job. Okay, and this also goes over what an attestation is. So it's a full-time technical program designed for an adult clientele who already have an educational or working background, but who wish to upgrade their skills. Our students do require previous post-secondary studies in order to be accepted into these programs. We'll also accept an educational gap. So that means quite a few students do come to us having had a work experience overseas, uh, overseas already. You know, sometimes they've been working for several years in very uh, relevant fields, and then they come to us and make an application because they want to upgrade their skills. All of our programs are two year programs. And so that's very interesting potentially for you all because that gives eligibility to a three-year postgraduate work permit for anywhere in Canada following completion of studies. So these programs are at the level of post-graduation diploma programs. Are there any questions for now? All right, I'll keep going. Okay, just a, a little bit of detail. Whoopsie. Uh, one question, Roina, that generally... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yes, Parveen. Parveen, you go ahead. Uh, I just want to ask, if, uh, we are having classes on weekdays or weekends. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Can you say, can you repeat that? Uh, we will be having classes on weekdays or weekends. Good so, question. So Good question. Our, uh, our classes are just all during the day. So uh, Vanier offers daytime programs, Monday to Fridays. Our classes are not on the weekends. Occasionally in the second year of your program, you may get an evening class, but mostly they are daytime programs. They're four days a week. So you always get one day off a week, often a Monday or a Friday, because we know that students need to work part time, right? And so of course, you've got eligibility to work for up to 20 hours a week during, um, during the semester. So you'll be working part time and uh, doing other things in those three days off per week that you'll have. Does that okay. answer your question? Yeah. All right, good, good, great. So nice that we can connect like this before we actually have you on campus, Parveen. That's great. Yeah, I'm also glad to connect with you because I'm, I was in a work you're looking forward to coming to, to Montreal. Yes, yes, yes. Good, great, great. All right. Okay. Uh, Roina, so I have a question which is uh, generally comes up uh, with these students is how is your ACS different from the AEC programs that the other colleges or what's the difference between the ACS program and the AEC? There isn't a difference. ACS is attestation of collegial studies. Okay. AEC, AEC is the French word. I can say it for you if you like. Attestation d'études collégiales. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just a French version. Uh, so ACS is what we, because Vanier is an English, public English speaking institution, we refer to it as an ACS program. The majority of our programs we require that post, uh, post-secondary studies to get in, into them. Uh, but some are slightly different. So for example, the, um, the uh, early childhood education program that I'll be mentioning, um, yeah. you'd require, you would not require uh, post-secondary studies. You could come from, from secondary school as long as you're at least 18 years old. Okay. And, uh, okay. So I'll get into that a little bit later. Does that help, Radhika? Yes, yes. It helps a lot. Perfect. Good. All right. So keep in mind, all of our programs are two years long. 
Uh, the Computerized Financial Management Program, we, we refer to it as CFM, is really focused on accountancy and finance. Those are the main aims of the program, but there are other courses within that program, such as marketing management, entrepreneurship, project management, etc. Okay, so it's, uh, it's uh, got a specific nature with some additional general programs. And so that means that sometimes students uh, do, uh, do come into the programs and they take, for example, the marketing class and they really uh, um, do well in that and enjoy that. And they go ahead and have their internship doing marketing and promotional work in companies. So uh, there are sort of diverse offshoots that can come from this program too. But the main focus is accounting and finance. Okay. Here, I'm having a difficult time scrolling down here. We'll go down. So these are some of the pro program objectives of that course. I'll just let you read through some of those quickly. And, uh, and then the program grid, just uh, quickly, you can see the kind of uh, classes that somebody in the CFM program will be taking. Uh, so we add professional development courses onto all of our programs. So those are extra classes that students need to take. There's two French classes, a beginner and a low intermediate French, because as I mentioned, uh, we feel that it's very important to start learning some French here in the province of Quebec, but not only in Quebec, anywhere in Canada. If you have a little bit of extra French, it will help you. It will be beneficial to you. So we are um, giving you some of those French skills. We also have the Vanier Language School, if you're interested in then continuing with your French part-time classes. And uh, the Government of Quebec also gives immigrants, including international students, free French classes, mornings, afternoons, evenings, if you're really interested in pursuing your French. But we do give you some French to start with at Vanier. We also have that job preparation class, job seeking methods in the fourth semester of the program. And in all of our programs, we have an internship in the last semester. Uh, so a full internship in a company organization. Um, there's a lot of support uh, for you to find the internship, to decide what kind of internship you want throughout the internship, and then to do the post-internship evaluation. So you're certainly not on your own with finding an internship. A lot of our students, they ask us that. Do I need to find an internship completely on my own? And I say, we say, no, no, there's a lot of support. We have an internship coordinator to support you through the whole thing. Um, you will notice that we have six semesters. So we're on a slightly different um, schedule to some colleges, but our semesters are just 12 weeks long with breaks in between. Uh, so, uh, so that means there's six of them throughout a whole program. Um, and during the breaks in between programs, you will be able to work full time hours. Uh, so that's a, a very nice advantage. Uh, when there's no classes scheduled, you'll be able to work your full time hours. For example, we have a long summer break. The month of July, August and half of September is off. So, uh, so that's interesting. Okay. Um, here, what am I doing here? Sorry. That's just a little bit of information about internships, but I've been through that. Internship placements and job opportunities. Uh, these are some of the kind of job opportunities that students are going into through the CFM program. We have a lot of our students who go into accounting positions, accounting junior accountants, accounting assistants, etc. Okay. On to our other, our next program, software development, secure desktop, mobile, and web applications. We just refer to it as software development. Again, it's a two-year program, uh, preparing students to write, modify, integrate text, et cetera. Um, some things that are interesting about this program uh, certainly appeals to students as a, uh, program, as a class on cybersecurity and classes on e-commerce. This is a, um, a recently revised program. It was just revised last year, of course. IT is constantly changing, so these programs need a lot of updating a lot of the time. You'll see some of the program objectives here. All right. I must tell you that Montreal is a really interesting place to be studying IT-related um, things. 
We have a, it's a real hub of IT. This Montreal is in Canada. Uh, we have a big focus on artificial intelligence. There's a big gaming and in, video gaming industry. It's really a lot of opportunity for IT here. And um, uh, for example, uh, we, uh, I'll let you know one of our students we just heard from a week or two ago has, uh, having done the software development program, has uh, just got a position with the United Nations Aviation Organization based here in Montreal, Quebec. Um, so our students are certainly doing well. From, from that program in Montreal and, uh, and all of our programs. You'll see the program grid here. Again, the same sort of setup. We're looking at six semesters with an internship in the final semester and uh, the added professional development courses. All right, and these are some of the kind of positions that can come from that software development program. Okay, and then lastly, because I do know that there's some of you who are interested in the ECE or Early Childhood Education Program. Uh, this is new, uh, it will be coming, we'll be starting in winter 2023. So that means the program will start in January of 2023. Again, it's a two year program designed for people interested in a career working in a variety of childcare settings, such as daycare, preschools, etc. Some of the classes would include safety in childcare, child health and nutrition, special needs children, child development. And there will be two internships as part of this program. One will be in the fourth semester, one will be in the sixth and final semester in different childcare settings. Um, so uh, for this program, uh, students would be able to come directly from high school, but minimum age of 18, um, and ideally some uh, volunteer experience having been done with, with children already and a letter of motivation indicating um, uh, in what, like their general philosophy to working with children and, uh, and why they're interested in working with children. Okay, so that's our new uh, program that uh, will be available on SRAM very shortly. You can start to apply for that very soon, the deadline, and I'll just go over deadlines at the end, but the deadline for applying for that program and for all of our programs for fall 22 is the 1st of May. But if you're interested in applying for winter 23 for any of our programs, deadline is the 1st of August. Okay. All right, and quickly then studying at Vanier College, I mentioned we're a public English institution. And I do want to highlight the fact that we are a public institution because we know that there's been quite a few problems with some Quebec based private uh, institutions. And uh, it's important that you know that we are a, um, a government overseen institution. We have a history of 50 years. Vanny has a really excellent academic reputation widely across the province of Quebec. We are one of five English speaking institutions in Quebec, but we're the only ones offering these, these programs, unless you're looking at private institutions. Uh, but uh, we have a strong academic integrity. Um, our students are applying to us, having a, a very solid academic experience with us and really being supported by strong student services. Hopefully everybody can join us. So, uh, just to finish off on that, we, uh, I was saying that we have a dedicated international team. We organize all sorts of activities, um, cultural activities, other activities on campus for our students. Here you can see a Valentine's Day event. Uh, just this past week, we, uh, because it's the beginning of spring here in Montreal and the maple sap is running from the trees, we had a little maple event where we served pancakes and maple syrup and, uh, and uh, connected with our students. We do ice skating, we go apple picking, we do some very traditional sort of Quebec and Canadian activities. Um, we give uh, walking tours of the city, et cetera, to our new students. So uh, there's a lot of things that we do, but also a lot of support generally at Vanier. We have, um, we have employment advisors, we have a financial advisors, we have a, a nurse working on the campus full time. We have uh, academic advisors, uh, personal counselors, etc. So, uh, 
So uh, you will find that not only do you have a, a dedicated team for your program uh, and any issues connected to your program, immigration issues, et cetera, but you also have a, um, you also have a wide network of support available to you at the college. And we really pride ourselves on our student services. Okay, here as well, you can see listed some of these services at Vanier College. This was our renovated library, renovated just before the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, it's a beautiful place for students to hang out and study and uh, um, connect, with, uh, connect with others. All right, uh, just on to fees here. Um, so there's an $80 application fee to apply to, um, to our um, application system, uh, which is called SRAM. Your agent, uh, I'm well aware, would be able to help you with the, uh, with the application. Um, so I won't go into the details of that, but there's an $80 fee uh, to apply. And then following receipt of your letter of acceptance or LOA, you would need to pay a confirmation fee of $150. That is to secure your spot on the program. And so that we know that you're very serious about wanting to come to Vanier. At that point, you'd be applying for your CAQ, which is a paper that you need to apply for to uh, come to the province of Quebec so that the Quebec government first allows you, gives you that immigration document to come to Quebec, and then it goes federally for, the, for your Canadian study permit. So during that time, you'd be applying for those things. Again, your agent will give you great support for all of that. And then approximately a month be before the beginning, of your program, you'd be asked to pay your tuition fees, which are 14,000 a year um, at Vanier. Now, so most of you are applying through the SDS uh, process. And so you'd need to pay the full amount ahead of time before the beginning of the program. But I can let you know that for the second year of the program, people can pay in as many installments as they like, because we realize that paying all those international tuition fees is not an easy thing. And most of our students are working part-time. And so we, we uh, take in uh, the payments by increments. Um, okay. And the student services fee of 256 a year. All right, just admission process. We have three cohorts per year. So we have a winter semester, a summer semester and a fall semester. Okay, so um, for fall 22, you'd be looking at applying by the 1st of May. And for winter, starting in January 23, you'd be looking at applying by the 1st of August. Our application deadlines do give sufficient time because of uh, to acquire immigration documents. We all know that throughout the COVID period, things have unfortunately slowed down, although things are starting to look better. So, uh, so um, uh, that gives sufficient time to apply for all those immigration documents. Okay, good. Uh, quickly, uh, admission criteria. Uh, as I mentioned, post-secondary uh, diplomas, degrees required for both our software and our CFM program, or a completed secondary school for the early childhood education program. For early childhood education, students would need to be 18 at least. A valid birth certificate is really important. Um, as few academic backlogs as possible, um, but we will accept up to six backlogs as long as they've been cleared. And an English proficiency. We are looking for an IELTS overall and no less than 6.0. Unfortunately, we won't accept 5.5. Um, so, uh, so you need to aim for that IELTS score. We will accept other English proficiency testing as well, such as the Pearson test of English and those things too. There's a letter of motivation required for the application. You know, why do you want to come to Vanier and in what way it will enhance your future career prospects. And then there's the SRAM application form, which your agent will assist you with and the $80 application fee. All right, so I think I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, I'm sure that there are questions and uh, and uh, I'm happy I'm happy to answer those. Okay, I will just take you to here contacting us. Uh, you can be in contact with us certainly uh, or you can email us um, 
and visit our website. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. All right, so that's it for now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. All right, so any questions that you have in mind? Uh, no, ah, Parveen has asked his question, so he's more okay. than- Okay, Parveen's about. answered his questions, right. We can ask all sorts of general questions about living in Montreal, about Vanier, about the programs, etc. This is your moment to ask your questions. Yeah. I was uh, actually, I think, Sumana. Sumana, uh, you have, uh, uh, you plan to apply for the ECE program, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So just discuss your profile. Just let us know your academic profile as to what all you've done till now. Uh, ma'am, uh, I've completed my graduation last year in June. Okay. And I've also given my eyes already. Uh, I have my results also. I'm just looking forward for the applications to open. And I just That's right. want to apply. Yes. Sumana, uh, you've, been, you've been in touch with us before, haven't you, Sumana? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, that's right. That's right. You're Ravi's sister, am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's right. Great. Great that you could sit in for the session today. Yeah, so Rowena, if we were to say for students who plan to join EC, what are the career prospects after this two-year program, if you had to, you know, elaborate on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, absolutely. Now, first of all, um, I can tell you that um, across Canada, and certainly in the province of Quebec, there's a big push for improving early childhood education. Um, there's an, there's an aim to create many more um, early childhood education spaces, um, especially public education spaces, because across Canada, a lot of them have been private daycares, et cetera. But now there's this big push Canada-wide to create public daycare programming. So the governments, and that includes the Quebec government, are pushing colleges to be able to offer these programs to take in applicants, to go into early childhood education settings following graduation. So we're really talking about that zero to five age range um, or early, pri or early um, primary school. So we're talking about working in daycares or after school in primary school settings, but mostly it's that zero to five young child age where you're really uh, learning the tools on how how to work well with students in uh, in daycare settings um so uh so that's why uh, you need to uh ideally have some volunteer experience to show us that you've got a real interest in working with kids and there are two internships as part of the experience because for early childhood education you need to get as much concrete experience yes. as possible and then, um, and you will have internships in fully English speaking daycares and after school programs. And then um, uh, you would go into daycare settings after graduation. And uh, as I said, there is a significant push across the country for these. So uh, we are very sure that there are positions waiting for you following graduation. And uh, these two internships, how will they be placed during those two years? Mm -hmm. Again, we have an internship coordinator who works with all of our students who go into early childhood education. Um, these, student, these programs have been running for a long time with local Canadian students, and now we're offering them to international students. So, uh, so it's all very well set up. You'll receive a lot of support. And your internship is, the first internship is, is the beginning of the second year. So you'll have time to work towards this, but for, uh, for the early childhood education, there's a lot of support. You'll really be you'll, be, you'll, you'll tell the internship coordinator, I'm really interested in working in uh, a daycare or an after school setting. And the internship coordinator will give you a lot of support to find that place. If not, uh, I think for a first internship, you're actually directly placed into it. 
Okay. Okay. So That's you don't awesome. need to worry. Yeah, you don't need to worry about not being able to find something because all of our students find internships. In fact, for all of our programs, we have never had a student who has not found an internship. You know, they all find internships. And right. uh, several, several of our students in our CFM program and software development program, they've had jobs that have come directly from their internship experience. You know, our students are good. They're going through intensive yes. programs and they come out and they're ready for the workforce and they get jobs. So um, um, we're, uh, we're proud of that. I, you're, coming, uh, you're coming to a place where, uh, where uh, um, there are jobs waiting for you. You're just needing to upgrade your skills to get there and get some Canadian working experience. And then you decide what you want to do with that. All right. Yes, Sagar, uh, you can go ahead with your question. Yes. Hi, ma'am. Uh, Hello, good. Sagar. How are you? I am very good. I hope you are good. doing fine. Well, yes, we're fine. You've, ma been you've been accepted, Sagar, right? For four. Yes, I have been recently accepted. Perfect. Yeah, I am just bank target. You just, just what, sorry? I said I just got acceptance from, uh, I mean, I just paid the fees. Okay. Today. Yeah, so I got accepted. There was a Perfect. message that they then process my fees to your court. Okay, good. All right, so, thank you. First of all, regarding accommodation, I mean, uh, how easy it would be to find accommodation and all. It was uh, yeah. a completely new experience for me. I mean, I have never been to foreign locations, so obviously, this is first mm -hmm. time that I'm coming there, so... I want to know a little more about accommodation and all those transportation systems around in the city. Yeah, uh, we can understand that that makes uh, you nervous. You're not the only one, Saga. We find that the majority of our international students, it's really their first time traveling, first time leaving home and uh, coming to a very new place and trying to figure it out all by yourselves. You, uh, you're all very brave to consider doing this. It's a big step. Um, so uh, um, we do find that because we're offering two year programs, students know that when they come here, they have two years at least ahead of them, if not more. So they come and they look for an apartment to live. Most of the time people go into a short term temporary accommodation that they generally organize while they're still at home for the first few weeks while they decide where they want to live afterwards. We often find that people meet in an orientation or, um, or before coming to the college because we try and facilitate students to get to know each other before even coming to the college. So you'll start to, to make a few contacts before you come, hopefully. You'll meet others in orientation um, or in your classes in the first weeks. And then we find often students kind of just uh, find their way and decide to move in together and find apartments together. Um, we do have housing resources uh, to give to students. We don't find accommodation for students, but we do give housing resources. And generally we find that our students do fi easily find accommodation within the first few weeks, but it would be important to have a place to stay for your first few weeks. Thank you. So, yeah, generally people are finding an Airbnb or um, we can we have a whole listing of temporary housing options that we can send you and that would be sent as part of your guide before you come for the fall. OK, thank you. Right. Band score of 6.5 with all individual. Band Hundred seventy one beats production.